Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lots of good things going on, aren't there, Rufus? 2022 was a good year. Now we're off into 2023, and it's been awesome. Dear parishioners, uh, this is your Rufus Report, giving you three bits of really wonderful news. Uh, number one, we finished our tabernacle work here. I hope you love it. We, Rufus thinks it's stunning, partly because that red marble is pretty much the color of his fur. That's an ode to you. Well, not really. It's because it ties in with the beautiful altar that we have and the baptismal font, all the same marble. So that's why we have this little orange accent. The black granite is black that goes all the way around the whole church from the original design as to kind of encompass all the activity, the saving activity that Jesus accomplishes here. And so we wanted to keep true to that architectural design. And then over here, you can see where it's raised up a little bit. This was the old high altar steps. So it's kind of a remembrance of the beautiful old high altar that was here from 1945 until um, the 90s. So that's why we have the orange marble, beautiful Spanish marble, Rojo Alicante. That's why we have the black granite going all the way around the church to give you an explanation for why the colors we chose, same as the baptismal font of that marble, it says that, and the altar. And then um, some candelabras. So these have been in use for centuries, millennia, um, back to the Roman times. Um, the Jewish times. There are seven candles on each side. Seven is significance because it means to covenant. And so it's pointing to Jesus with whom we have a covenant. So, yes, Jesus, I will do my best to love you and to serve you in exchange for that. You will rescue me from Satan's grasp and give me heaven. That's a covenant. And that's why we're here to draw a little more attention to this great gift of the most blessed sacrament. Uh, and then finally, there's two uh, tabernacle lights, sanctuary lamps. Those are there just to remind you Jesus is here. When the light's on, the light of the world is here. Why do we have two? Gives a little bit of symmetry, but also if one were to go out, the other one will still be on, so you never have to wonder. We're keeping a light on for you. Your savior, your rescuer, your warrior king is here. He's Jesus. So first bit of good news, we hope you love it. Rufus thinks it's fantastic, so do I, and we, we do it for you. Hopefully it's a, a little more beauty here. Now on to one other thing, and then one final really good uh, piece of news. Okay, now we're at the second location uh, of great importance. Here's the baptismal font you're probably familiar. Just wanted to let you know this, this last weekend, so uh, it would be the first full weekend in 2023, we had seven baptisms, seven in one weekend. We had almost 100 uh, throughout 2022. Just a, a bit of good news, the family's growing, um, people are getting baptized, so we're just grateful to God, and we're grateful for the great gift of baptism. And um, Pope Francis reminded us this weekend as he celebrated the baptism of Jesus on Sunday in Rome, uh, that we are to celebrate our baptismal anniversaries. You don't have one because we couldn't baptize you, but I have one. It's April 1st, April Fool's Day. The Pope says this, his orders, party. So throw yourselves a party, make it like a birthday party. Learn the date of your baptism because it's one of the most important days in your existence because from then the flow of grace started in, in your hearts and in mine. So he says celebrate it like it would be a birthday. Go out to eat, do something special. Uh, call your parish of baptism or your parents or whomever. Find out that date, memorize it, put it in your calendar, and celebrate it. That's the Pope's orders. Now, one last bit of really, really good news. Uh, join me in, in the gathering space for, for some more good news. Hey, last bit of good news. Guess what? Remember that capital campaign we were working on for Priority 2022? $750,000. We made it. We did the goal. We made it. Look at that. Christianers, congratulations. 750000 in the last few weeks. You got it done, and we're so grateful. Rufus is so delighted uh, and impressed at what you were able to do. We made our goal for Priority 22 to pay off some of the work that we've been doing, and now we're excited to be moving on to 2023. What are we doing? We're doing bathrooms. You know how exciting this is? This is super exciting. These are the most exciting bathrooms in the world right now. Because why? Well, as you've probably seen, with our growing family and the kids and family, parents, and everything, on Sundays and other days, this is people are lined up here waiting. We need more bathrooms, right? Because look at it, it's just one stall. And our family's growing, and there we go. Glad no one's in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow through that wall. You can see, uh, we'll put some clips on here, and expand it. So you're gonna have four stalls for the men, four stalls for the women, and hopefully we'll even get little toilets for the littles. Uh, it's gonna be great. These are gonna be the most exciting, the most wonderful bathrooms you've ever been in. This is Priority 2023, but not only that. Other parts of Priority 2023 uh, are doubling down on evangelization. So we're going to be doing extra work for evangelization, music and liturgy, creating missionary disciples, lots of stuff coming for you. So we're getting ramped up for Priority 2023. It'll be probably 750 or close to a million. We can do it. You did it in 2022. Thank you. 
Rufus, thanks you, huh? How grateful are we for these wonderful parishioners who got the job done. So that's the, the real good news uh, that, we, that just came in. Uh, we met our goal. And we're going to announce this from the rooftops because we're so dang proud. Uh, I'm proud. Rufus is super proud. In fact, Evan Baker, one of the worst cooks in America, but one of our favorite parishioners here at the Cathedral Holy Spirit Parish, is out there right now announcing all this good news to the world. <laughs> We did it! Um, we did it. You did it. Thank you so much for your support. Priority 2022. We're excited about Priority 2023. We're going to get it started here real shortly. You'll be hearing from us. But above all, thank you. Well done. So pleased. So grateful. Um, God bless you. Keep up the good work.